hey specials what's up how are you guys doing welcome back again to my channel guys <coughs> let me put my clothes in order <laughs> you guys welcome back to another video how are you all doing if you're meeting me for the first time i'm married to tom my mommy youtuber based in every state nigeria and i am currently pregnant almost due in fact i'm due for delivery expecting baby number four soon yeah so that is our current state. Can you see this big something here? Uh -huh. So we are waiting for the baby to pop out soon. <laughs> guys, how are you all doing? I know from the title of this video, you should know what we are here to talk about. Guys, see, I don't see a lot of content creators talk about this thing. Like, I haven't seen a lot of content, a lot of YouTubers... I haven't seen YouTubers, let me not say a lot of YouTubers. I haven't seen YouTubers talk about this. And I think, because my experience, I... Had it been I've seen it, had it been I saw it on YouTube, I won't stress myself going to the hospital. At least, it will give me a clue or an idea of what and what to buy. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the list hospitals do give for delivery. You know, every hospital have their delivery list. Every hospital, especially here in Nigeria, have their delivery list. So, it is their requirements that you will have to bring to the hospital that um, they will use for you when giving you uh, when giving birth to your baby. You understand what I'm saying? So, I searched and searched and searched on YouTube. I didn't see such a video because had it been I saw, I would have start out like I would have started early to get these things when i started buying uh things for my baby you understand but i didn't see something on youtube and i'm like why not make a video for it like why not make a video on hospital requirements like yeah hospital requirements for um vaginal delivery you understand so yeah that is what brought me to this video everything my hospital requested is in this bag yeah this is a bag i bought from Ama, wigs by Ama. This is a gift. So the wig that came with this bag is a gift. A subscriber gifted me. She's also a YouTuber. Yeah, so this is the list. The hospital I'm using, th that is not my first time of using that hospital. I've been using it, apart from Chukwe Buka, that I didn't go there to deliver. But I had my first, and, my first son and my first daughter there. So, I don't have, after delivery, just throw this thing away. If my own, I do put it inside the nylon for them to take their property. So, <clears throat> I want to make this video for new moms, or better still, moms that, like, moms that have stayed long, like, moms that, how do I put it now? Maybe it's been long you gave birth and then you're pregnant and then you are wondering what to get for your hospital. Like what and what to get to give to the hospital that will enable them deliver your baby for you. You understand that like they will use in delivering your baby for you. That is why I'm making this video. I know most of you are like me that are lazy to go to the hospital to collect list. So I had to go through the struggle for you. I went to the hospital and I collected their list. And I think even if your hospital requires much, it won't be more than this. Or maybe the thing that will be missing won't just be too much. Yeah, so this is just basically everything you need for vaginal delivery. Yeah, so in here, um, they wrote purity antiseptic, purity, okay, purity antiseptic solution. I beg, don't come for me. Purit antiseptic solution. They wrote um, one medium size. So you have to go. You have to buy your Purit. This is the medium size. I bought this. Yeah. They wrote Jig solution. One big bottle. You still have to buy Jig. You go with your Jig. And please, one thing is, if they ask you to buy Jig, buy Jig. Don't go and buy Hypo. Anything they ask you, because some hospitals can be frustrating. So to avoid embarrassment, anything that is in their list, buy it for them. You understand? Maybe they might tell you to buy big one. Uh, you can see, the, if you see the medium size, you can buy. But that product they say you should buy, buy exactly that product. So they wrote big jig. 
I have it here. Mind you, you're going with G. What else? They wrote olive oil. Olive oil. For cleaning your baby. They wrote one bottle here. Yeah, they wrote one. Even though I'm going with mine. But they wrote one bottle here. So you have to go with olive oil. They wrote tissue paper. Two pieces. They didn't write the size. They just wrote tissue paper. So I bought two tissue paper. Yeah. They wrote comfort sanitary pads. They wrote two packs. This is it. This is the pad they wrote. So you have to go with this as well too. If you do have heavy flow or if you've not given birth before, go with two or three. Yeah, but my husband wrote two. Yeah. What else? They wrote premier soap. One tablet, big one. I got it. I didn't see premier, so I saw supreme and I got it. Yeah. They wrote Omo detergent. One big packet. Eh? I beg I bought this one, Viva. This is not the big search. This is the 180 gram. 180 gram Viva Plus. This is the one I bought. I didn't buy that big one they wrote. And then the last on their list here is delivery mats. They wrote two pieces of delivery mats. And here it is. Here is delivery mat. This is what it looks like for new moms. Let me open it for you so that you can see what delivery mat looks like. Can you see? So yeah. They said I should come with two pieces. So I have the two here. This is basically everything a hospital should require from you. You're not going to buy. It's just for you to give birth. So I think that if you're having twins, this thing should be times two. Like if you're having twins, it should be times two. Because in Nigeria, we did now. Uh -huh. But if you're having just one baby, it's just one that you will buy. They will just give you one list. If you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, this is for those of you who are currently pregnant, the new moms that are currently pregnant and you are wondering what to buy for your hospital. Or maybe you don't even have a hospital yet, but you want to get the things that you go to the hospital with that you can hand the hospital that they will use in delivering your baby for you this is everything you need to go some hospitals do add if you're a new mom they will add a packet of razor blood i think yes <clears throat> if you're a new mom they will add a, a packet one packet of razor blood for you of course so i didn't see a packet of razor blood here but some do add it so this is everything a hospital can require from you to give birth through VJJ, through down there. I don't know for CS, I don't know for Cesarean section, I don't know. I don't know their requirements because I've not gone through that process before. But if you're giving birth through there, this is basically everything you need to get from the market. Then if you go there with these things and they say that something you bought much, they will remove some of the things. But I doubt if Nigerian hospitals will do that too. But the good ones will remove some of the SS things you bought. Then if you didn't buy everything that they need, they will take the ones you bought and then tell you what and what again you should buy. But at least you tried your best in buying these things. You understand what I'm saying? I hope one or two people found this video interesting. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share this video. And of course, I'll see you guys again in another video. I'm breathing fast. I want to rest. Guys, I'll see you guys again in another video, okay? Bye. I love you so much. I'm having a rolling nose. I don't know why. Please, though, subscribe. 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 And, and take me to another level, okay? Yeah.